right, so we have um, section 4.1. So I want to just um, go over some of this graph. So um, you will have received this today. Okay, and I want to go over this graph because I want to talk about um, what a polynomial is, um, a polynomial function, and what this end behavior is talking about. So a polynomial has several um, terms, okay, several terms, and it can be, um, doesn't have to be x squared, um, actually, x squared and linear actually talk about polynomials, so more than one term. Okay, and these are going to have some different um, behaviors that we're talking about. So obviously a polynomial function is one that pass passes the function test. But I mean, they can; these things can look really um, weird. Um, they can twist, okay, and they go up on each side and, and things like that. So we're going to be talking about where it crosses the axes. Um, we're going to be talking about what's it doing as it goes to the left and as it goes to the right, which is what we're talking about and behavior. Okay, so polynomials, we're going to do things with polynomials. We're going to combine polynomials. We're going to do a lot of things with, with polynomials, and we're going to see these um, and behaviors that we're talking about, okay? So we're going to start noticing um, some trends um, with the things. But before we do that, we're going to talk about um, a little bit about polynomials in general. So I'm going to go to this page, or you could go on the back side of your page here, okay? And I'm going to just label this 4.1. Um, and the first thing I want to talk about is getting that polynomial organized, okay? So given a polynomial function, okay, so it's a function because I see f of x. I'm going to write down some of, some of the, the steps, okay? So one of the first things you want to do is put your polynomial in descending order, okay? Meaning we want to look at, we want to be putting this from highest power to lowest power, okay? So who would I, if I rewrote this, who is the highest powered? Okay, let's see, x squared. I want to talk about power. I'm looking at, remember... I'm looking at my exponents here, okay? Oh, don't forget, what's that exponent? Though you don't see it. You're right, that's a one. Okay, so this is my highest power, right? So I'm gonna put this right here, okay? Who's next? Oh yeah, the two x squared. Did you see how I took that negative with that, okay? Then plus 6x plus 1. All right. I'm going to highlight those powers again. Because once you've done and you've put it in descending order, which is a great method um, to do anyway, um, and this is what we would call standard form. Okay. Now you can state the degree. Now the degree is pretty easy. The degree is what's your highest power? Well, my highest power is a four. Okay. Number three, the type. Now, if you remember um, linear regression on type, there are, here's your types, okay? Linear, quadratic, cubic, and quartic. 
Okay. This says one, two, three, four. Okay. So if it has a degree of four, I am quartic. Now I have a calculator that's working right now. Um, mine are all deader than a doornail. Okay. So I will show you this um, in class. So quartic, because this is actually on your um, calculator under where we do linear regression. Um, so um, stat, um, calculate, it's all under there. Okay. Number four, the LC. What's the leading coefficient? Because that is going to make a difference in the behavior that we talk about. Oh, and it's right there. The leading coefficient is the leading number. And so my leading coefficient here is negative three. But you know what I forgot to talk about before we even started? Is this a polynomial function? And it obviously is because I put it in, I answered all this, these questions. So is this a polynomial function? So what are some of the rules that um, you have to have for a polynomial um, function? Okay, in order to be a function, remember that you have to have um, powers of x x can't be on the bottom or exponent um i think that's it so it's it's got to be it still has to be a function so you can't have x in the basement okay so is this a polynomial function? This, of course, is a big yes. Okay, what about this one? Okay, is this a polynomial function? Oh, well, jinkies. See how X is in the basement? I can't. I can't do that. That is not acceptable. That does not make this a function. So my answer to this is a resounding no. And if it's a no, then I can't go through any of the rest of my choices that I have here. Okay, because it is not a function. Let me do this one. Okay. Okay, well, let's look at, well, this is a square root, but it's not square rooting the x, so that's okay. So yes, this is good to go. Okay, so yes, this is a function. Okay, so let's put it in standard form. So highest degree. is, yeah, you guessed it, negative 2x squared, then 3x, then the square root thing, which is just a number. No big deal. Okay, step number two. Degree. Oh, it's two. Which type is it then? Three. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh, cubic. No. Two. Oh, quadratic. I think I spelled quadratic wrong. Nope, I didn't. Okay. Step number four, leading coefficient. Well, that's easy. 
That's the number in front of the leading turn, negative two. Okay. Okay, now take those, take those polynomial functions now, and I want you to evaluate. Evaluate means to pretty much to pluck and chug, okay? So, can you tell me, given this polynomial function, notice I already told you it was a function. Can you tell me when x is two, what y is when you plug it in to this equation? Well, this is easy. Because you literally can plug the whole thing in on your calculator. Now, I can't because I have a dead calculator, but I will tell you this. 2 cubed is 8. When it comes out, you need to stick that negative on the front of it. 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. Minus 3 times 2 is 6 plus 4. Hmm. So this is negative 16, negative 22, um, but plus 4 would give me a negative 18. There you go. That was pretty easy, right? Just plug and chug. All right, now you try one. G of x is equal to x to the fourth minus 32x squared plus 256. Notice I'm giving them to you in um, the ascending order. All right. Let's plug this in. Notice when I'm plugging it in, what am I putting it in? Yeah, parentheses. Do you think you might need to do that on your calculator? Yes, absolutely. You definitely need to make sure that you're putting these in, especially with those negatives. Notice the negative is on the inside. So negative four to the fourth power is actually 256. Um, Negative 4 squared is 16. 16 times, um, let's see, this would be another 16. Oh, I may have to do some, do a little multiplication on the side. 512. Okay, so this is positive, but then this is negative. This minus this is negative 256 plus 256 gives me zero. So when x is negative 4, y is zero. Okay, this last part of end behavior we're going to kind of discover in class together. We're going to talk about um, these last two. So I'm going to write these down but I really want to talk about these in, in class so we can um, compare, okay? So I'm going to write these down as they are. We're going to make sure they're both in um, descending order and that they're functions. Okay, is this in descending order? Let's see, six... Two. Okay, we're good. All right. Let's make sure this is this in descending order. Oh, this is not. This isn't even. This is an X and this is an X. What the heck? Okay. I wonder if they meant to do a squared on one of those. Hmm. No matter. First of all, let's add these two together um, and let's put it in descending order. Okay. So this would be first, this would be second, this would be next. So this would be six and four fifths. That's yucky. Um, I believe that's 6.8x. Let's do that. And then don't forget about the minus two. Now am I in descending order? I am. 
Okay, we're going to look at this in class on the end behavior so you can use your graphing calculators, okay?